Good day, dear colleagues. Thank you for the possibility to speak at this conference. I'm Svetlana Limanova and I represent the Archive of the Russian Academy of Sciences. The Archive of the Russian Academy of Sciences is the oldest scientific archive in Russia. It was founded in 1728 in St. Petersburg. At first, the object of storage was the St. Petersburg Academy of Sciences Conference, head department documents. As time went by, the archive enlarged. The main source of storage became the documents of scientists and of the academy departments. So, the archive expanded. In 1934, the Academy of Sciences moved to Moscow, and hence the Moscow Department of the Archive was founded. Initially, it was placed in the basement of the Academy of Sciences building. Look at the picture. Since 1963, the Moscow Department of the Archive was appointed as the principal. In 1980s, the particular building for the Archive of the Russian Academy of Sciences was constructed. The present-day archive is situated in the separate building. Nowadays, the Archive of the Russian Academy of Sciences fulfills the functions of the largest scientific document storage in Russia, the principal institution in the Russian Academy of Sciences document storage system, and the Scientific Research Institute. The Reading Room for Scientists is functioning. The archive of the Russian Academy of Sciences consists of 1,893 funds, of which 1,239 funds contain the personal documents and 654 funds contain the departmental documents. This number is constantly growing because the acquisition of archival funds is in progress. Let's speak about the personal funds. The scientists' personal funds are the inalienable part of the science history research, the implementation of social history. The fund creators are the leading specialists in their science directions, the science institutions' leaders, the big heads of science. As an example, we can name the chemist Nikolai Zelinsky, the physiologist Ivan Sechinov, the biologist Nobel Prize winner Ilya Mechnikov, the historians Vasily Kuchevsky and Yuri Gautier, the natural philosopher Vladimir Venatsky, the biochemist Lina Shter, the architect Vladimir Shukov and the Academy of Science Presidents Vladimir Komarov, Sergei Babilov, Alexander Nesmyanov, Mstislav Keldish, and Anatoly Alexandrov. The funds contain the large amount of information in biographical and scientific fields, including documents on activity, correspondence, and collections. Each fund is a unique story about the life choice, scientific research, and personal motivation. The right of the documents allows us to trace the science progression history and to maintain the experience transmission. The archive documents of scientists are constantly in focus of research by the researchers of different scientific disciplines and from different countries. The researchers of the archive of the Russian Academy of Sciences are working on creation of information resources, making possible to simplify the sources search. One of these resources is a guidebook, like at the screen. The modern search possibility is a special information system of the archive of the Russian Academy of Sciences. This information system allows to insert information on the processed funds and also to search funds. Such kind of search can be activated from every PC connected to Internet. The keywords are scientist surnames, institution titles, the data, scientific fields, etc. Several funds represent already digitized documents. Furthermore, the scientific research perspectives are based on the information about the personal fund structure. The fund is formed by a draft of documents. This draft is operated by the archive researchers according to the Manual of Archival Description, named in the Archive of the Russian Academy of Sciences, the methodological recommendations for completing, examining the value and scientific description of the personal funds of scientists 
in the archive of the Russian Academy of Sciences. According to the methodological recommendations, the documents of personal funds are systematized by the following sections. Scientific works and other creative documents, biographical documents, activities documents, correspondence, documents of relatives, documents of other persons, collections of documents by persons. This approach facilitates the preservation of the most valuable documents, reflecting variety of the scientist activities. Unfortunately, the researcher unwillingly puts bounds to his study dealing with the personal scientist found and searching only for scientific documents and biographic aspects. In reality, every personal form contains different levels of information, speeches, performance reports, world news reflections, different scientific documents, correspondence, etc. Personal scientific funds allow to work in the widest range. It's a possible to the researcher to draw social and scientific portraits of the scientist, to fill a gap in the genealogical material, to reconstruct cultural and scientific connections, to research the history of science, chemistry, physics, biology, geology, history, to find documents on economic, social, political history to trace the international cooperation. Depending on the scale of the personality of a scientist, it may be possible to find different types of sources, including sketches, drawings, herbarium, various collections. The most curious documents are demonstrated at the expositions in the archive of the Russian Academy of Sciences. As usual, they can be thematic. They can be also dedicated to the jubilee of a scientist or any scientific event. There are also expositions which you can see on the archive website in the virtual reality. The expositions are the part of educational activity and they maintain the scientific continuity of traditions. One of the most important scientific activities in the archive of the Russian Academy of Sciences is the permanent scientific research on the base of the archive documents in the personal forms. The archive researchers are participating in scientific and educational events, make speeches at conferences, publish the results of researchers in the scientific magazine, issue the collections of documents and the studies. The annual edition of the Archive of the Russian Academy of Sciences, the archive search, is available on the archive website. The latest issue is dedicated to the widely celebrated in Russia 75 years jubilee of the victory in the Second World War. The issue was focused on the contribution of the Soviet scientists in the victory. This very issue also contains a topical section dedicated to the newly processed personal funds of the archive of the Russian Academy of Sciences. So, we can assure that scientific knowledge has so many different ways to translate the final result to the scientific research is the reconstruction of a scientific space in the broadest meaning of this word, and the archive documents help the researchers in this task. They are often serving as missing links, which explain the way of a scientist to a discovery. They can also reunite the segmented scientific data to unveil the whole world landscape. The documents in the personal forms open a large perspective to a researcher, who can plunge into the scientific society of the past, who can also get acquainted with enlightened minds of the time, to reveal a moment of scientific discovery, and in the end, uh, to get a whole picture of a scientific progress. Welcome to the archive of the Russian Academy of Sciences. Thank you for your attention.